Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. We're about to launch the Repair 1, which is my Husky design, because I've made a blunder. I was launching a probe to go visit the moon, and uh, we forgot to extend the solar panels. So now we need to send this up to... I forgot to lock the gimbals. Hold on, let's turn SAS off, and let's turn down the throttle, and correct our course. Whoa, whoa, I forgot how much power this stage has. So we're having more than one launch failure right now. We're having more than one issue with launch vehicles, uh, because I messed up this one's launch. Now I'm supposed to turn lock the gimbals on these things. There we go, gimbals locked. Now let's get us back on course. Get us back on course. Close enough. Alright, now also our speed dipped a bit because of that, which is unfortunate. Yeah, so I'm just failing all over the place today. Uh, but it's alright though, we're back on course. Uh, minor technical difficulties due to the idiocy of the pilots. Uh, they are curls after all. So we're going to let our speed creep up to 200 meters per second as we approach uh, as we approach 10 kilometers, and then we're going to speed up and pitch over normal uh, normal ascent profile, of course. Except we are pitching over a lot. Okay, those dump those. Why did we pitch over so much? Jeez, it's not my friend today. Yeah, so, there we go. We're actually slower than we should be at this point. We're also a bit lower, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these up. Because we need to gain some speed. Okay. We should be okay running them at this throttle. Let's go to the map. Now, where is it? Sora Moon 1. I'm gonna fight with my vehicle today, as I do. You know me. I like to fight with my designs. Right, so I need to pull up to get us out of the atmosphere. Right, periapsis is 70, apopsis is 71. All right, we're good with this. Now we need to see our ascending node is at one degree or point one degrees, so that's pretty good. Now our intersect, however, is not so good. Not so good. So I'm gonna add a maneuver here to burn prograde. Right. I'll see you when I figured this out. Okay. I'm in a higher... there we go. Get rid of that. Nope, go away. I'm in a higher orbit now, which means I should be slowing down, which means they should catch up. Yeah. So, now we just wait for that to happen. It's just gonna, you know, take a while. Okay, so I've managed to get us uh, pretty close, right? How much? Separation, 61.7 kilometers. Pretty close, it's not really, but it's kinda. Let me see if I can uh, fiddle with these just a little bit. Get that lower. See, if I fiddle with them too much, there is no intersect one, which is kinda strange. D1.6, D1.5. 51.4, 50 50.1, 49.8, 1.1 kilometers. Let's get that a little closer. 1.2. Okay, never mind. Let's just put that back where it was. All right, we have the perfect burn, except not really, but whatever. Same difference. Let's exit the map. Let's point towards wherever that is by turning on precision by turning on the 
thing where we can't move first. Yeah, because I'm brilliant like that. Where is our burn vector? There it is. Hello, burn vector. Okay. Yay. Okay, it's within range for us to see it, our relative velocity on the screen. Is that it? That is it. So, let's just accelerate a bit. And our closest pass is going to be out at it one kilometer. Let's get to our, let's get, go ahead and get pointed at our retrograde vector. Because I'm turning on the SAS again. Whoops. Okay, relative velocity. We're going down at it. So, I should go up here. Oh, it's getting pretty close. Don't want to lose it. Damn it. We're going to overshoot a little. Let's point straight at it. Alright. Let's do a better job at cancelling out our velocity this time. Come on. Turn a little. Uh, come on. We're gonna shoot by it again on this vector. So we need to slow down a little. A tiny little thing. Tiny little thing. All I did was forget to freaking move a solar panel. And we gotta send a mission up here. Use almost all our fuel just to get up here. Five meters per second. Come on. I'm approaching too fast to be worrying about precision like that. Let's go. Let's go. That sucks how much fuel we're using out of this thing. This is a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. Sixty. Whoa. Oh, come on. Thirty-eight. Thirty-seven. Thirty-six. Thirty-five. Let's use RCS here. Yeah, there we go. Relative velocity killed. Uh, let's see, I think Bill was the stupid one. So let's go ahead and let's send out, uh, was this Bob? All right. Come on. Don't. Oh, God. These guys are so much harder to control than a ship. Ah. Don't want to break it. Don't want to break it. Let me... Am I close enough? Yes, I am. Okay. Back to the ship. Oh, wrong way. Down. Okay, up, up. Right. 
come on. Of course, it's gonna reorientate itself, so it's gonna, so it's gonna send me on a little adventure there. We have advanced SAS on, right? We left it on, right? God, I hate how hard it is to zero out velocity with these guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's the hatch. Down. I gotta go down a bit. Grab. And now, I just get back on board. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave this here for now. We're gonna finish our mission to the moon now that we don't have power because it's nighttime. Derp. Yeah, that was kind of dumb of me. Alright, let's see. The other vessel should start receding from us. Ever so slowly. Okay, we have power. Let's go ahead and... If I hit two, it might retract the one I have out. Or it might not do anything at all. Why is it not doing anything at all? Whatever. Whatever. Turn on our accelerometer, our gravioli detector, our communitron thingy, our very hard to see, uh, it's very, what? Come on! I have this highlighted. Alright. Barometer. <laughs> Why did we bring a barometer on this thing? Seriously. Whose idea was that? You should know there's no air on the moon. You really should. Alright, so I'm thinking we need to go ahead and burn into orbit on the day side or something. Or burn into our moon or ejection orbit kind of thing. Moon or injection orbit on the day side. Even though it means we won't actually point towards the moon just yet. Actually, uh, let's burn just a little this way to get past that. We don't want to. We don't want to run into them on our burn to the moon. That would be horrible. Come on, and come on, go back in the spot. Stay in place. Stay in place. Come on. Go to 90. 90. Thank you. Now stay at 90. Just lost that engine. Alright. Disconnect. And we're on to our beautiful little probe all by itself. Let's go ahead and put this out too while we're at it. Yeah. Alright. Let's turn. Stay on 90. Stay on the correct heading. Come on. On to 90. Okay, there we go. And. Oh. What? Hello? Okay, there we go. Now we have our engine. Okay. Now we time accelerate. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll do this burn. And... Locked. What? Oh, and as soon as I time accelerate, it snaps to a different position. I hate that. I hate that so much. Alright, fine. We can deal with this. 
14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, oh, not 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, let's leave that on. Okay, right there. Okay, let's go to the map. Let's remove that. Let's see what our actual result is. 9,000. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. Let's get on out there. I like the way this looks on the map right here. The way we're kind of just like... We could use this to slingshot into a higher orbit. We could. But the point of this mission is to go to the moon. So let's go ahead and go to the moon as planned. Uh, what? Whoa, whoa, what? Oh. I looked at the map wrong and I thought we had just been like ejected from the moon or orbit immediately. Like not even a chance, man. Oh, our tar our focus is on the No, I don't want to No, I don't want to set it as a target. Oh yeah, I could have set it as a target and that would have helped, wouldn't it? Something like that. Let's go ahead and turn around. and burn until we're in orbit. There we go. Oh, am I gonna run out of light? Oh no, we're on the day side, so we're good. Just gonna burn at low thrust for a little while. Hold on. Ooh, that's a pretty orbit. But no, no. We have to stay at the moon. There we go. Almost a perfect million for a periapsis. I mean our apoapsis, or periapsis, just under 10k. This is a nice orbit. Oh yeah. Now I'm trying to remember if you can time warp under 10. Yes you can. I think the the part where you can't time warp anymore is at 9. I mean 5. For some reason 9 and 5 really sound like the same to me right now. Hey let's just roll it over just for the fun of it. Uh, that's not roll. We're on our side, I forgot. How silly of me. Of course, if I put us straight up and down, eh, one way or the other, it's about the same for being bad or good for our uh, solar panels. Right, where's Kerbin? Kerbin is over there, so let's point our dish. We're already pointing right at it. Cool. There we go. This tiny little thing. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space.